everyone! Welcome to our next workout! Woo! Happy October! Okay, so what we're going to do today is a 10 minute workout and it's going to be 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and you're going to do five exercises so you'll do them two rounds through. So our first exercise you can either do with a kettlebell or a weight um, and any weight that is challenging for you. So I'm using this 15 pound dumbbell and we're doing a thruster but only with the weight on one arm. So you're gonna pick your weight up, you're gonna squat down, and then use the power generated from your glutes and your hips to drive the weight up. Just like this. So make sure that that weight is getting propelled through the air by your glutes. Um, make sure also that when you squat down, if you can, get your hips below your knees. And then also keep your knees behind your toes and tracking your toes. So, that's our first exercise. Second exercise, super complicated. <laughs> just kidding, you're just going to switch arms. So, what you're going to do, just get the weight up in your left arm. I like to put my right hand in front just for balance, but you don't have to do that. You can put it on your hip, you can put it on your head, whatever. <laughs> so, looks like this. Squat back, power it up, squat back, power it up. And that is that exercise. It's really good. This will target your glutes, your shoulders, your abs. <laughs> Pretty much thrusters are amazing. <laughs> so those are the first two exercises. The third exercise is a kettlebell swing. So what that is going to look like is you're going to start with your feet about a little wider than hips width, maybe like shoulder width apart. And you're gonna start standing up with the kettlebell. Abs are engaged, glutes are on. This is a really good exercise for your glutes, your hamstrings, your lower back. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna push the kettlebell through your legs and use your hips to drive it forward. So all the power is generated from the hips. And the, the weight is just floating up in the air. So I'm not lifting it with my arms, just floating up. So that'll also be a really good cardiovascular exercise. If you've never done kettlebell swings before, I would suggest practicing them with no weight a couple times first before you do your workout. And um, so what that would look like is you just start standing up, hinge for the hips, push your hips back, bring your hands between your legs, and squeeze forward. Just like that. So you can even like make your arms really relaxed and see how the momentum from your hips driving forward. Um, and then, you know, add weight slowly. Just make sure you're comfortable with that one. So, that was our third exercise. Fourth exercise is <laughs> down on the ground. So what you're gonna do is a hip bridge. Your glutes are gonna be on fire by this time of the workout. So you're just gonna lay down, place the weight on your hips very carefully. Hold it to stabilize it. Get your feet under your knees. And you're going to contract your glutes and just squeeze up. And when you come down, make sure it's just a tap and back up. Also, you don't need to use a weight for this one if you're a beginner. Get rid of the weight. Put your hands down either by your sides or behind your head and just squeeze up. See how fast you can go, how many reps you can get in 50 seconds. And our last exercise for this workout going to be a push-up and then lift your opposite arm and your opposite leg. So that'll be really good for balance, it'll be really good for strengthening your back in a safe way. So what it's going to look like, I like to start with my feet a little bit apart for this one just because <laughs> it makes the balancing part a little easier. So you're going to go down into a push-up, come up, lift your opposite arm and leg. Down into a push-up, come up, lift your opposite arm and leg. It'll just look like that. Um, that's too challenging, it's totally fine, just come down onto your knees. So, we're gonna do push us off our knees, lift our opposite arm and leg. And continue on. So, um, that is it. I will put the workout description below and I'll put my score, let you know how I do and then you can compare your scores and compete with me. Uh, also, let me know if you have questions, just make sure you keep moving through the workout and that it's intense for you. If you need help with modifications, let me know also. And 
checking up with that. So have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye.